Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we're unboxing the Super 7 Ultimates Stitch. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Back in December, the Super 7 Ultimate Stitch released, and I got him for Christmas. So we're going to take him out of the box and give you an up-close look at him. So, Fisher, I am going to have to set you to the side. You good with that? I'm good with that. All right, my little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So this is my first Super 7 Ultimates figure. I've always been looking at them on Amazon and Sideshow, Entertainment Earth, places like that. And I really, really wanted the Stitch. So I definitely was really, really super happy to get them. But he is really cool. So it's a 7-inch scale action figure, which means he's 7-inch scale to the other Ultimates Disney figures. He comes with five different heads and I think three pairs of hands, a bunch of accessories, and yeah, just look at him. He's so super cute, guys. So I can't wait. Let's get him out of the box so we can get an up-close look at everything. So getting him out of the box is super easy. I love it. It's like little kind of bamboo-y, pineapple-y type stuff behind in the box. That's cute. But then... All kinds of stuff in here. It looks like we have a couple layers. Stitch was in there with just a little plastic tie. Super 7 is definitely not plastic free. Lots of plastic in here. But let's get him out. How stinking cute is he, guys? These also have a lot of articulation to them, which I think is just totally, totally rad. His arms move. His ears even move. Look at that, guys. So you can make his ears in different positions. They're on like little ball joints. Super fun. <laughs> his head moves. Arms are on ball joints. He actually bends at the elbows as well, it looks like. Let's see, how do you bend there, dude? Oh, he doesn't bend, but he twists at the elbows. His feet actually move. You can put his feet in different position and then his legs are on little ball joints. So you can do a lot of stuff with this little guy. He does move at the waist, but he doesn't seem to stay when you move him at the waist. So you can make him dance, but he's not going to stay when you move him. So he's got different heads, different hands, and we all know how that usually goes with me. So let's see what we got here. So in the top half, he has this head, which is one of my favorites. It's Stitch when he puts the brawl on his head and the cape on. He acts like a little superhero. So we're going to try to switch that one out. Looks like there is probably a little ball joint on the head. What do you think? You think his head's going to come off super easy for me or super hard? Oh, that actually was pretty easy. Getting it off was easy. Now let's see how bad getting it back on is. Oh. Snapped on super easy as well. He also comes with a little cloth cape and it's really, really cool because it's got wire in it. So you can actually kind of mold it around him and make the cape do different things like flying in the wind. Let's see, get this on you. And flying in the wind. Super, super cute. Actually, if you just twist it around in the front, it stays on really well. This is adorable. I love it. It's almost like Doctor Strange's cape. Kind of has a mind of its own. But super cute. Let's see, what other heads do we have? We have a plunger head. So we're going to take this one off, which should be easy because it was easy before. And we are going to put the plunger head on. This one's giving me a little bit more trouble, guys. See, it's got to be, that hole has to be perfect or else it's not going to go in really super well. People have told me if you heat it up a little bit, it's a little bit easier. But there he is. And the ears are movable on this one too. So we got stitch plunger head. And then we have the blaster with the carrot in it. So that looks like it's this hand here. So, okay, we're going to do a hand, guys. You ready? So the hand should also just come out super easy. 
So the hand pulled out. Let's see. Stick this one in. It's got a little peg. A little hole there. Kind of work it in. Oh, that hand went in super, super easy. So, pew, pew, pew. He's got the little carrot on there. So, super fun on that one. I'm going to take this back out because we have another set of hands that I want to show you. He's got these little oven mitts. How super fun are those? Let's make sure we're putting the right oven mitt on the right hand here. So he's got little oven mitts and these go with one of the other heads. So that one went on super easy. Let's see, can we get that off? Yep, that came off super easy. Let's see, get you on there oven mitts and the oven mitts go with little chef stitch head so we're gonna switch the head out came off a lot easier than it went on so I think once it was on there it was like yeah I'm happy now there's little chef stitch and little chef stitch comes with a cake so remember he baked that cake and he pulled it out of the oven and it was as big as the oven <laughs> that's really really cute you can do some really great displays or photos with these guys I think that's awesome and then the last little head guys yes stitch picking his nose with his tongue so we're gonna have to change a hand out here because he also comes with a couple accessories for that head one is a hand holding a little snow cone I love it so I think that goes on this one switch you out little snow cone hand Put your regular hand back on the other one got the regular hand back on switch out the head and how adorable is it eat your ice cream cone there stitch or your snow cone but he comes with little sunglasses too <laughs> how fun are those so little sunglasses uh, adorable i love it so this is a really, really super fun set. I'm going to put him back together to his original form here. Although this one is really, really cute. So that I can give you the details on where I got him. And of course, rate him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. So I have Stitch back in his original form. I had to leave the sunglasses because I think those are adorable. I love it. He's so cute. I like him on his forehead like that he looks like he's ready to have a fun day at the beach but super adorable I love this I also have the Beast Kingdom one so I'm gonna be doing a review of that really soon too so we can do a little bit of comparison between the two these are actually really solid figures I love it they do not feel like cheap plastic they do feel like a PVC material really well made pretty simple to take the heads and the hands off you know if you know me you know I have problems with that sometimes so very simple on that so I like that this is available on Amazon you can get it it's $55 entertainment earth had it as well I believe but I think it may have not released on there yet don't quote me on that. that that could be wrong and sideshow I believe had it as well but I will put the Amazon link in the description of the video for you guys and rating this set on our scale of totally bad to totally rad you are definitely a totally rad dude so cute not so fluffy because it's an action figure not a plush but super super cute and totally rad what do you guys think of it let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us and I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, Stitch? We'll see ya later.